repairs to the sinkhole on St. Paul Boulevard in Irondequoit are still underway, frustrating many neighbors in the area. Because of the detour, more traffic is flowing down otherwise quiet residential roads. And those who live around there say between the noise, speeding, and congestion, they just want the job to get done. Christian Garzon joins us now in the studio with more Christian. They're going to need a little bit more patience. Just a little bit more, Teresa. It turns out in that hole, lots of sewer pipe needs to be replaced, and that's causing an even deeper dig. One guy told us, though, with pipe infrastructure a century old, he wants the repairs done right. The sinkhole on St. Paul and Arondequoit should have been fixed by now, but with more issues getting uncovered, it could take into the weekend to get patched back up. The biggest problem is the amount of traffic going down. Diane Devaney has been here for over 20 years and has never seen so many vehicles coming down this quiet residential side street. We actually even have the city buses coming by. Yeah which can be frustrating in the speed. With pedestrians out and children playing, all this added commotion is a concern. All that also leads to... Well, there's a lot of noise. Gail Aldridge says in addition to the new automobile acoustics, many of these drivers have a lead foot. People were like blasting down the street. Yeah. Like quickly, very fast. Aldridge and others alerting police to those racing through. A speed check put in place to encourage drivers to take it slow. I'm not a speed Nazi, but I would like people to, you know, uh, uh, be driving a little slower. Chris Eddy and his wife are considering writing a petition to the town. And I think we could probably get about 80%, 90% of the people here to sign to say this should really be a 25 mile an hour road. Between the congestion, noise, and speed, Peter Major is saying this too shall pass and is taking the path of patience. He's lived here 50 years and wants this job done right. I understand that the the uh, the inter infrastructure here is 100 years at least. I, I think they're doing a great job and all that. Now crews are working longer shifts to get this done and again we're told it could last into the weekend. Teresa back to you. Christian thank you. Monroe County did say they are reviewing the progress at the sinkhole site with the contractor and will be sending an update out tomorrow.